Among the most important duties of husbands and wives in the Islamic context is the fulfillment of one another's sexual needs. This is not something to be taken lightly. Spouses who insist on rejecting their partner's advances cannot be surprised to then witness their relationship disintegrate. There are situations when a husband is forbidden to approach his wife for intercourse during her menstrual cycle, during her postpartum bleeding, and during the fasts in Ramadan. But outside of these cases, it is imperative for both spouses to do their utmost to make sure that they are partners in every way, not least of which physically. Always, always pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, great and glorified is he, that he maintains the love in your heart for your spouse, and that he preserves the love in your partner's heart for you. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the one who put the love in our hearts for one another, and he's the one who can take it out just like that. Just like that. If tomorrow your spouse decides that they no longer love you and no longer want to be with you, there is nothing you can do about it. It is completely a gift from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that out of the billions of people in the world, there's one person who's choosing to love you and you are choosing to love that person. So you have to recognize it as a blessing and you need to be doing Salat al-Shukr, prayer of gratitude for that blessing. Make your home a haven and ladies, Make yourself his hoodie. And men, make yourself her hero. Now, I realize that there are many women today who are uncomfortable with the word hoodie. But hoodies are real creations of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And they are described in the Holy Quran as the companions in paradise. And I believe that it's time that we reclaim this word and own it for what it is. There's no reason why our homes cannot be little pieces of paradise, inshallah. And there's no reason why we cannot be heavenly companions for our husbands within our own homes. So when you see your beloved for the first time after he returns home or after she returns home, make sure to greet your partner and kiss him or her or hug him or her. Practicing Muslim men and women who have taqwa, God consciousness, will avoid all physical contact contact with men and women who are not their blood relatives and many of them are surrounded at work by other men and women who make a real effort to look attractive and to smell good you are the reward your husband gets at the end of a long dry day and you want to be soft and affectionate and fragrant men especially need to be physically attracted to their wives and men want domestic bliss. What does domestic bliss look like? Everybody wants domestic bliss. So this is a, an umbrella definition of domestic bliss. But men especially are looking forward to escaping the world and finding that domestic bliss and support in their home. What it looks like is peace and quiet and, not, and no nagging. And it... It's a world that smells good, that's clean and organized, and it's not chaotic, and where a person feels welcome, and a person feels supported. And so we want to make a real effort to make sure that our homes are the eye of the storm, right? The whole world is in turmoil right now. There's a big storm raging around us, but every storm that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has created has an eye of the storm where everything is peaceful and calm and quiet and things are not whirling around. Our homes can be the eye of the storm, inshallah, if both husband and wife work at it. When you know that life has been stressful and busy, this goes for the men as well as the women. Wait until your partner has had a chance to relax before asking them to do anything or breaking any bad news to them. Um, everything about you, from your clothes to your hair to your skin to your breath, should smell clean and fresh for yourself, yes, but especially so for your partner. You want to be kind and welcoming to one another's friends, but you don't ever want to be in solitude with the opposite gender. And that includes not being alone with another, uh, with a person of the opposite gender on social media either.